themselves about the mission, uh, the level of panic, um, how difficult the mission is and what the rewards will be and at the moment we really need money or engineers. Now the engineers are in Argentina so as I say we're not too bothered about doing that so the United States would be the best for us with $200 so let's confirm and okay so we've got three of our squaddies, uh, the three people that got the promotion but our support class was injured in the previous fight so uh, we have a, another rookie here with us and oh, didn't mean to do that so let's just quickly go on him and we can check their abilities from here uh, we can check their loadout which we're going to change to a medikit we could also customize this character if we wanted to so um, different skins and change his name but we're not going to uh, waste time with that. Okay, so we're ready to launch the mission and head off to the USA. We have visual on the mission site. Setting. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Big Sky, reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay, so uh, same thing as last time, really, just a case of uh, moving our operatives up, keeping them safe in cover, and then uh, taking out uh, probably four, maybe five of those small basic aliens. So uh, now that we've got our different classes, we need to start moving them appropriately. So obviously the sniper will be sat at the back most of the time. Um, now at the moment, this person can't run and then fire. So you have to run them into a position and then hunker them down. We can't even go into Overwatch just yet. So um, that will be an <coughs> that will be an upgrade for the sniper later on. Okay, um, we've got the heavy. Let's uh, put him into Overwatch. And this uh, this is our rookie, and we'll ru run them up as far as we can, and put them into Overwatch 2. And now uh, the assault class uh, by default uses a shotgun. Um, they can also use uh, assault rifles, which I do tend to prefer. However, they the shotgun can be very very useful. So um, we'll hunker him down, uh, putting. Putting him on Overwatch would be a waste of ammo. If, uh, if an alien was to run down here, um, there's no way he'd get a, a shot in with the shotgun. It's uh, it's got too low a range, so there's no point leaving the assault class in Overwatch. Okay, so let's continue to move people ahead. Target acquired. Okay, so that was. Uh, a little bit of a rash move by myself there. Um, I'd move one player in one direction and then I went in a completely different direction, so it's probably not the best thing to do. Okay, so there's 45%, uh, 47 percent chance to hit. Let's have a go. Yep, and we were successful there. X-ray down. So, uh, just like with the first mission, we need to make sure that we get this rookie to uh, secure a kill. So, uh, we'll bring him over this way as well. And only 25% to hit. So, let's hunker him down and keep him safe. And we'll hunker down the assault class, keep him safe. And we'll run the sniper up to support the assault class. They're backing up! Advance! Okay, so uh, I'm going to run this guy right the way up. As I say, we need to try and make sure we get him a kill this time, so he's a uh, 
he's safe at the moment. The alien can't see him. Uh, see him, although the alien could outflank him at some point. Um, until we've got everybody back on the same path, let's just leave these two guys here uh, to secure the area. So uh, we'll hunker him down and put him on the watch. And we will take a quick look. No, 27%, so. Um, Let's leave him as support for this uh, for this rookie. Okay, so the alien hasn't moved or done anything, um, which hopefully means we can run here and take him out. Okay, so from point blank range, he somehow managed to miss. Um, not to worry, we can uh, we can get him next time. And again, let's just leave this guy here. Let's put this guy on Overwatch and get this guy down. But of course, uh, although we missed at point blank range, the aliens aren't quite that bad, so uh, they got the shot in this time. So, just to avoid any more mistakes. By the way, we can use the Q and E keys on the keyboard to uh, swing the camera around to make things easier. So, there shouldn't be any doubt about this now. I'm about to start keeping score. And then we'll just swing the camera back in the same direction. Okay, so we can start to uh, to run up this way now. And uh, we can't actually see anything up here at the moment, which is a bit of a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Run and Gun, which is the ability that you get for the Assault class. This allows us to run to the yellow circle. Thankfully there was nothing there, but... Um, we could still make an attack. If there was something there, we could shoot, but uh, we're going to put him into Overwatch. Uh, now, as we know that it's safe up here, we can uh, we can run the sniper up. And also the heavy. Okay, so here are our other two enemies. Okay, so the best thing to be doing here what was that? is to send the sniper up top. Look who's here. Oh dear, so we've uh, found two more now as well. They're moving to flank me. Okay, so we want this guy to uh to run as far up here as we can get him. guy into some better cover. Okay, so unfortunately the uh, sniper's taken a little bit of damage there. Okay, so we can see this alien is using a different technique. Um, I can't remember exactly what this is called, but um, mind meld would be... Uh, good enough really. So he uses the power to increase this guy's HP. So you can see he's got four bars now instead of the normal three. However, it, uh, that ability does leave the two of them very, very vulnerable. If uh, 
if I was to shoot the, the alien who's using the ability, that would kill both of these characters, so um, it does leave them a little bit vulnerable. Okay, so uh, what we'll do with this guy is we'll bring him into cover over here, so he's protected from the people in this direction but he's also close enough to probably get a kill shot in here. Yep. I'm about to start keeping score. Okay, again, we just need to run this guy up as far as we can get him. Now there's not a great deal of cover to use over here anymore because it's all been shot away. Um, so what we'll do is um, we'll put him in cover here. It's a little bit far away, but the next turn run and gun should be up and active again, so we can uh, we can charge him all the way over here and. Uh, take out two birds with one stone. Okay, so this character can get a headshot in. Um, it's a fairly likely chance that we're going to kill it without the headshot, though, so... Yep, yeah, and there we are. He's down. So, four down, two to go. Okay, so for some reason they decided to back away, which was um, not very clever on their part, as I'm going to tear in now and hopefully take them out in one fell swoop. Oh, so uh, here's the overwatch. Thankfully it's missed. Okay, so we can get 90% on that one, and 86% on him, so this is almost guaranteed, and there we go. So we killed the one that was using the mind melt, and then it kills the other one as well. Mission accomplished. Okay, so that's uh, an introduction to the ab uh, abductions missions. Uh, those are probably one of the most frequent types of missions that you'll get from the... Uh, from mission control. So let's quickly take a look at uh, how we did. Okay, so our rookie was promoted to a heavy. Uh, we already have a heavy, uh, as we know, but it's always good to have some backups. And unfortunately, a lot of people were injured in that mission, so uh, we've only got one squaddy for our next mission. Okay, so some artifacts that we picked up there. So we got $200, and uh, we completed our mission in the USA, so panic decreased there. However, we left South America and Asia, so panic has increased there. So you've got to try and balance which countries you go to as you're playing. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. So here we have an overview of what the uh, the panic is like around the world, and we can see that Argentina and China, the two places I didn't go to, having uh, have increased in panic. Um, now we can launch some satellites, I do believe. Uh, yeah, so we've got one available, and we've got one out of two in orbit. So to launch these, um, you just need to click on the country you'd like to launch it over. Uh, for me, I think we're going to start with the good old USA, as uh, it gives a hell of a lot of money every month. And we'll we will contact, launch the satellite there. The okay, so we'll leave it there for the, uh, this video, guys. Uh, take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.